Yo, Jay Blinked here. On one hand, you have the Flipper Zero. You know, that legendary dolphin-themed hacker multi-tool that can sniff, clone, and talk to pretty much any wireless signal you throw at it. On the other hand, you have the PicoCalc, a build-it-yourself microcomputer that's all about coding your own tools and games from the ground up. Both of these are incredible gadgets, but if you're a programmer, which one is actually better? One's a a digital lockpick, the other is a pocket sized workshop. They're coming from two completely different universes. Today, we're putting them head to head, comparing everything from their core philosophy and hardware to their coding environments and community support. We're going to figure out which one truly earns a spot in a developer's toolkit and which one is the right choice for you. Before we even touch a line of code, we have to to talk philosophy because these devices could not be more different. The Flipper Zero is basically an interactive tool. Its whole deal is to engage with the digital and radio signals flying around us every day. Think of it as a Swiss army knife for pen testers, security researchers, and anyone who's just endlessly curious. It's built to sniff, analyze, and emulate protocols like sub gigahertz, RFID, NFC, and infrared. For a programmer, the flipper is a device you code on to better understand or poke at other systems. It's an outward facing gadget. The PicoCalc though is a completely inward facing canvas. It's a self-contained microcomputer that you literally build yourself. Its spirit is a total throwback to the golden age of retro computing where a device would boot straight into a command prompt pretty much begging you to create something from nothing it isn't designed to hack your neighbor's garage it's designed for you to build a game a custom calculator or a weird little app from scratch all on the device itself for a programmer the pico calc is a portable sandbox for making your own experiences it's a blank slate so right off the bat the choice is about what kind of programmer you are. Do you want to mess with the world or would you rather create your own? The Flipper Zero is a sleek, consumer ready product. You pull it out, power it on, and you're greeted with a dolphin animation. Getting started just means updating the firmware with the Q Flipper desktop app, which is super simple. In just a few minutes, you're ready to start playing with its huge library of built-in apps. It's all about that immediate gratification. The PicoCalc is another beast entirely. It shows up as a kit with a gorgeous custom PCB, a Raspberry Pi Pico, a screen, a rubber keyboard, a speaker, and a few screws. You are the factory. The assembly is part of the fun. It's straightforward, satisfying, and gives you a real hands-on connection to the hardware you're about to code on. The flipper is plug and play. The Pico Calc is build and program. And that first impression perfectly sets the stage for how you'll end up coding on them. Okay, this is the round that really matters for us programmers. How do you actually write code for these things? Let's start with the Flipper Zero. The most powerful way to program the Flipper is with its C-based SDK. This gives you total low-level control over the hardware. You set up a standard embedded dev workflow on your computer, probably with VS Code. Then you write code, compile it, and flash your new app over to the device. For a C programmer, it feels professional and robust, but it's got a bit of a learning curve. But here's the game changer. The Flipper team also added a JavaScript SDK. This massively lowers the barrier to entry. This is awesome for quickly whipping up simple UIs or automating tasks without getting your hands dirty with C. It's important to know that 
while this is super convenient, the JS engine has some limits. It doesn't offer the same raw power as the C SDK. Now for the Pico Calc, which takes a completely different and honestly brilliant approach. Out of the box, it boots into MM Basic. You don't need a computer, you don't need an SDK. You type directly onto the device, hit enter, and it just works. But it gets way better. You aren't just stuck with basic you can flash firmware to run a ton of languages right on the device lisp python lua go even javascript and rust you can use the arduino ide or the standard c and c plus plus pico sdk that on device type and run experience is something the flipper just can't do the sheer flexibility is insane the difference is clear. Flipper gives you a structured, powerful uh, PC first workflow with a great JavaScript escape hatch. PicoCalc offers an immediate, self contained, and wonderfully tactile coding experience with a ridiculous amount of choice, perfect for learning and rapid experimentation. A gadget is only as fun as what you can plug into it. So let's talk hardware the flipper zero is loaded with specialized gear it has built-in antennas for sub gigahertz radio a dual band rfid nfc antenna an infrared transceiver and i button contacts that's its superpower for everything else it has a 18 pin gpio header up top this lets you connect external modules like the wi-fi dev board that turns your flipper into a Wi-Fi pen testing tool or booster antennas for insane range. You can control the GPIO pins through code to talk to sensors or blink LEDs. To talk to sensors or blink LEDs. The PicoCalc is more of a traditionalist. It doesn't have any of the flippers built in radio magic. Its main link to the outside world is its GPIO. It exposes the pins of the Raspberry Pi Pico, letting you hook up anything from LEDs and sensors sensors to motors and displays. It's basically a classical microcontroller dev board that fits in your hand. It even has an SD card slot for more storage and loading up programs. All right, we're really getting into the weeds here, comparing everything from philosophy to workflow. If you're a developer or tinkerer and this is your kind of content, do me a solid and hit that subscribe button. It tells me you want more deep dive like this. Now let's get back to it and talk about community. A device is nothing without the people behind it and this is where things get really interesting. The Flipper Zero community is massive, energetic, and wildly creative. Since the platform is open source, custom firmwares have just exploded, unlocking its true potential. Famous versions like Unleash and Momentum remove software restrictions and add a ton of new features and protocols. On top of that, there's an official app store that makes it did simple to install community made tools. Need a universal remote for projectors or a fancy NFC analyzer? There's an app for that. This ecosystem turns the flipper from a single tool into a constantly evolving platform. The PicoCout community is smaller and more niche, but but just as passionate. It smartly piggybacks from the gigantic community of the Raspberry Pi Pico itself. This means you have a massive library of drivers, projects, and guides that can be easily adapted. The Clockwork Pi forums and GitHub are the main hangouts where people share everything. You'll find people who have made MP3 player firmwares, ported NES emulators, built synthesizers, and even even added Wi-Fi with a Pico W upgrade. The vibe isn't a polished app store, but more of a wild west of awesome homebrewed projects and sharing code. 
The Flipper ecosystem is about extending a platform with apps. The PicoCalc ecosystem is about rebuilding the platform from the ground up. So after all that, which one should a programmer buy? Honestly, there isn't one king. There are two, and they each rule over a different domain. The real question is, which kingdom do you belong in? We have to crown the Flipper Zero as the king for the interaction and security programmer. If you're a security researcher, a pen tester, or a dev who's fascinated by the invisible world of radio waves, the Flipper is your ultimate tool. If your goal is to write code that tests access control systems, analyzes wireless protocols, or automates hardware level tasks, nothing else in this form factor even comes close. It's for the programmer who wants to understand and influence the systems already out there. But we have to crown the PicoCalc as the king for the creation and embedded programmer. If you're a tinkerer, retro computing fan, an educator, or or a developer who loves the pure joy of building something from nothing, this is your portable workshop. If you want to run Python, C++, Lisp, Rust, or a half dozen other languages, play NES games, or just get that instant gratification from an on-device interpreter, this device was made for you. It's for the programmer who wants a self-contained world to learn, create, and invent in. So there you have it. Flipper Zero versus PicoCalc isn't a battle of good versus evil, it's a clash of ideals. The Flipper is the ultimate digital multi-tool made for interacting with the world as it is. The PicoCalc is the ultimate portable workshop, a blank slate for creating something totally new. One is about reverse engineering, the other is about engineering. Engineering. One is for discovery, the other is for invention. The right choice for you depends entirely on what kind of programmer you are and what you think is fun. Now I want to hear from you. Which one are you picking? Are you Team Flipper or Team PicoCalc? Let me know down in the comments and more importantly, tell me what you'd build with it. I'm Jay Blanked. Thanks for watching. Peace.